Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we will quickly understand about the SQL statement, some key aspects and the details that will help you to answer SQL basic questions. So SQL statement is nothing but it's sort of English like statement used to communicate with database, fetch and update, you know, information. So in very simple terms, you can explain something like it's an English like statement. So say, for example, here at the bottom, you see like select star or select all from employee. So basically it's sort of very close to the day to day English that we use and it will help us to fetch or communicate with the database, fetch the value, update the value, delete the value, etc. Okay, so that's what you know, basic SQL statement looks like and is now SQL statement consists of SQL keywords. So there are certain keywords, there are identifiers, constants, operators, etc. So I'll explain all of these terms because these are very commonly asked interview questions. So I'll explain them in the next slide. SQL statement is not case sensitive, very important question and can be asked many times. So it is not case sensitive. So it doesn't matter whether you write select in the uppercase star from in uppercase and employee the table name or you write all in the lowercase but the recommended approach is to use these keywords or keep these keywords in the SQL statement in uppercase so that you can read or readability improves of the of the SQL statement so that's why you know all these keywords so basically these are the keywords the uppercase ones these are the reserved words within SQL and that's why we call them as keywords they are always uppercase and it improves the readability of your SQL statements now let's understand what are keywords identifiers and constants right before that let me explain you or show you that this SQL is uh, SQL statements are not case sensitive right so if we go here right and this is my uh, SQL command line prompt let me put the password there and now here if I say show databases or lowercase right sorry you will see it shows me all the databases okay and if i change it to uppercase as well right so show databases uppercase it still works right so this proves that sql statements are not case sensitive you can use or lowercase and uppercase but this is you know advice that when you are using the keywords make them uppercase so it's more readable something like that the first statement okay now let's understand about the sql keywords identifier operator constants etc so what are keywords so keywords in sql are the reserved words that are used within the sql so whenever the language has been defined there are some words that have been reserved for the specific purpose and say for example create insert select etc so there are so many keywords that we'll be using in our sql statement so select is one of the keyword from is the keyword right so all of these are the keywords or reserved keywords in SQL. Now identifiers are the names that we provide, right? So when we create a database, right? So database name for employee that we created was the name as employee. If we provide the name as employee or company employee, so the identifier is company employee. If the database name is company employee, if the database name we provided as employee, then that identifier is employee. So whatever name we provide, for example, for to the database, to the table, column, aliases, etc is the identifier right and here if you see employee id employee underscore id employee id these are all identifiers because these were provided by us when we are defining databases creating tables within databases then we provide these identifiers to be recognized as unique identifier for the table and the databases right so these are the identifiers operators as we know arithmetic assignment there are so many operators right so equal to that you see, see here greater than these these are the operators okay then constants represent the fixed value now there is a query where id is equal to 10 right so we are saying that i want to select the employee id from this particular employee table right where the id of the employee is 10 okay so this is the constant this is the constant value i want to fetch the detail of an employee which has the employee id as 10 so this is the constant the value that is unique that is constant or fixed value that you provide is a constant now clauses are again built-in functions so they are you know sort of a keywords as well but they are built-in functions which help us to manipulate or filter and analyze data in much better way so for example from right so you we are we are choosing from and then we are providing the clause where 
and then providing the values so where id is equal to or where id is greater than 100 or something so these are some of the clauses so when we see these two queries here at the bottom select is select from and where are the keywords right these are the reserved words in sql then employee id employee and id these are the identifiers that we provided when we created database or tables right so these are some of the identifiers operators this equal to and greater than are the operators constant are the constant values and clauses are the special built-in functions which are sort of keywords itself for example from and where are the clauses that provide extra functionality or the functions to analyze data in a better way or filter data in a better way okay so this is briefly about keywords identifier operators constants clauses etc i covered this just to ensure that you understand the concepts and are able to answer these queries when you go into the interview okay in upcoming tutorial we'll understand few more theoretical and interview concepts and then we'll deep dive into the practical scenarios and how you can use sql so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching